Dragonfelder and Charles Oliveira. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the game. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Felder is five years the elder. Oliveira will have the four-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 33 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Charles de Bronx Oliveira. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 17 wins, 6 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Paul the Irish Dragon You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it clean. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. 
All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, you gotta watch him attacking submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. Oh, he might have got him with the choke. Wow. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. Oh, really nice work to keep Busy off of his back as he lands some more off that tier for Bob. And they both stand up. Misses with that punch. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the iron long Paul Felt. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? doing the right things defensively. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. A little single collar tie there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, excellent takedown defense so far in this fight, and there it is again. He knew if he was gonna win this fight, he was gonna have to stop the shot, and he's certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of staying upright. He understands positioning. He understands finding defense and getting back in the space where he's having the most success. Second round, straight ahead. That's what I'm talking about right there. You can't handle your striking. Just keep moving to your left. Just stay away from his power. And just keep moving. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. All right, round two is here. Paul Felder versus ready, Charles Oliver. Big Paul punch land. Now we get back in range. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Felder. Try to establish that jab. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Big little kick lands under the elbow. Back and forth we go. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the front. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's a... All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm going to be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Right hand landed. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Just over three minutes to go. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. 
And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Brazilian jiu-jitsu right there. Just the way he transitioned to secure the arm up against his body and ultimately forced the tap. High-level stuff out of that young man here tonight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Beans going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 25 seconds of round number two. He's going the winner by tap out, Charles the Bronx. All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard, and his opponent is known to lay in the guard.